guys in this video we will learn how to add chart js in laravel application so in this example we will use pie chart and display month wise registered users uh, in the graph okay so let's get started and you can see that i already downloaded fresh laravel application and set up the database and if i go here you can see in my php admin i already run the migration and created some users uh, dummy users so we can display month wise a chart properly okay so now let me go here and create the controller first so i will say php artisan mac controller and i will say user controller okay and now if i go here and i will create one route so i will say route get and i will simply say users and then i will say user controller colon colon class and then i will call index method simply save it and let me use the namespace above so i will say user controller okay save it okay now if i go to the controller i will create the index method so i will say index and a simple i will return the view and in the view i will simply call users okay simply save it and now let me go to the resource and view here i will be create new blad file users dot blad dot php in this file i am going to use bootstrap so you can see that bootstrap cdn and simple with the card design so i will say simply char dot js example save it okay and let me run this example so i'll say php artisan sir okay and here you can see that it's already running the application and i will see users and you can see that laravel chart.js now let me go to the chart.js documentation and if i click on the getting started you can see that they already given the simple example like with the canvas div and then script and the code so i will simply use that one okay simply copy the script okay and edit over here then i will simply copy this canvas and simply paste it over here now let me simply copy this code copy and simply paste it over here okay save it and let me run okay so now if i go here you can see that there is already bar chart properly coming so now let me go here and let me go to the chart type and we are going to use the pie chart so you can see that here is the pie chart so what we need to do the configuration so type should be the pie chart so if i go here into the configuration there is a bar chart right now so i will simply call pie chart okay and data and based on the data there is a labels and data set already set up over here so what i will do in the example you can see the setup so i will simply use this data variable copy it okay and declare over here okay save it okay and this data variable i will simply use over here okay so simply i will say data okay and if i go here and simply hit refresh you can see that there is a pie chart like pie chart with the red and blue and yellow you can see here but it's very big so i will simply set up the height so i will say style and i will simply define the height and i will say 700 save it okay and refresh so maybe height and 700 pixel save it okay and if i say refresh you can see that properly screen wise the height and with the red blue and yellow now what we need to do simply like should be the month name above like january february and then month wise that number of register users should be displayed over here so what i will do simply go to the controller i will and i will get the users data first okay so i will say user and i will say select and i will use db colon colon row and i will simply say count and as a count so number of users will be count and db and then i will say simply db row and give the month name so i will say month name mysql function and i will get the month name from the created at column so simply month name okay month underscore name and simply i will add the where condition so it will only get current month you month data okay so say simply i will say where year and i will simply call created at and then i will say date so it will only get the current year month okay so then i will say group by and group by i will use db row and i will say month 
and month coming from the created at call okay and then i will simply plug so i will get the data into the array so i will use the value as a count okay and month name will be as a key name okay and simply to array okay a should be capital okay and now let me display the number of users okay so simply dd and what we get okay simply save it okay and if i refresh it you can see that user not found so we need to just use the namespace like user and same thing i need to also use the db simply save it okay now we refresh there is another like group guy close there is a you know like we need to give the permission like violet so if i go to the configuration database if i go here and then you can see mysql there is a strict rules is true so i will say false so that way group by will be allowed so if i refresh it you can see that there is a january february and number of user are registered like october as a 14 and september as a 4 and august as a 3 now we need to display this into the graph okay so what you can see that key has only january february and value has a number of registered users on that month okay simply go here and i will simply pass the users variable over here so i will say users save it okay now let me go to the users blade file here i will be simply get it so i will say where and i will say data keys okay so what i will use json attribute and i will use array function array keys so i will just from this array i will simply get the keys only okay so i will say and users semicolon and i will say where data values and i will simply call json attribute and i will say array values and then simply i will get users okay and save it okay now let me go and simply console.log and display okay data keys and i will say data values save it okay and now let me go and simply refresh it and use the inspect element and you can see there is a two array you can see that 0 1 2 and with the data okay now let me go and simply what i need to do here is the labels so what i will do this key should be into the labels okay save it okay and this data value so that means one two three number of registered users so simply save it and this color i don't want to define manually so i will simply remove this one save it okay and now if i refresh it you can see that like january let me remove this refresh it again like january february and based on the color you can see that october this is my first data set so what i will do i will simply say register users save it okay and if i refresh it you can see that like october number of registered user 14 and january has a two same thing like february has a two and you can september as a four so you can see that how easily you can use the chart js and pie chart you can implement so i hope guys if you understand well and if you like this video then please subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching guys